The gentleman yields. I now recognize the gentleman from Texas, the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, Mr. McCall. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, first of all, let me say uh, my thanks to all three of you, uh, your employees who work so hard to protect this country. Um, having served at the Department of Justice for many years and the Chief of Counterterrorism and National Security, um, uh, uh, I think uh, you don't hear that very often these days. And also, I agree with you, uh, Director, that uh, 702 FISA is a critical element to securing and protecting Americans. And I will fight very hard to get that reauthorized. Uh, moving forward, um, Director Ray, we've had over about 7.5 million encounters at the southern border. Um, we've had 7,000 special interest aliens. We've had 200, nearly 200 on the terror watch list. When I chaired this committee, that was the first, and when I got the briefings, first question I ever asked was, how many SIAs, how many on the terror watch list? If I would, 200 is alarming to me. Does that give you concern? Uh, certainly, I, the numbers give us concern. Uh, I think it's important, though, in some ways, um, to realize that it's numbers alone don't even really tell the problem. And we've all seen how much damage just a small number uh, of foreign terrorists could cause. I mean, it, sometimes people, as crazy as it sounds, tend to forget that it was 19 people who killed 3,000 people. That was the next point I was going to make. It only took 19 to create 9-11. And um, that's alarming. I just got back from Israel. I saw the Hamas videos. It is very disturbing. I know you've testified previously that Hamas could either inspire attacks or maybe get into the country. The problem is we don't know who these 200 people are. And to your point, how many others got in that we don't even know about why won't either you or the secretary provide us with the full, complete, accurate information, as I used to get when I was chair of this committee, who are these 200 individuals? Who are they? Is Hamas on the list? We know the SIAs include countries like Iran, Lebanon, and Iraq. That gives me great pause. Will you provide that to this committee? Well, we will certainly continue to engage with the committee uh, in closed session with, with numbers and information. Um, as you know uh, from your past experience with this issue, for one thing, the numbers themselves change literally moment to moment. And so it's important for us to be careful to be accurate and timely with, with the information we've got. But then I think- You know, and it could be in a classified setting. That's, that's how they used to do it when I was chair of this committee. I don't have that information. My governor of the state of Texas, who has to deal with this problem on a daily basis, cannot get this information. You know, I understand before 9-11, we had walls up, you know, sharing information, connecting the dots, but this is, you know, 2023. I mean, it seems to me we should be able to share that information. Well, I, I, I'm happy to have my staff follow up. I know we've had a lot of engagements with uh, the Hill over, uh, uh, over different numbers and populations of individuals. And so I guess I'd have to circle back to figure out exactly what has I, been I would like, as, what a, as a, an American and a Texan, I, I'd kind of like to know personally. And, and, and uh, Mr. Secretary, you know, um, there was an Austin SWAT officer killed in my hometown who is on the terror watch list. The SWAT officer murdered by someone on the terror watch list. And the family involved was Mohammed Nasser. Do you have any information about this? Um, Mr. Chairman, we'd be pleased to provide you with whatever information we have in the- Please do. And, and let me just say, 18 USC section 2A states whoever commits an offense against the United States or aids and abets, counsels, command, induces, or procures its commission is punishable as the principle. Human trafficking, a criminal enterprise in this country now with people with no legal status, 
an entire population seven times over to be killed by fentanyls, 12 billion total, 300,000 people dead due to fentanyls. Sir, I would argue that you've been aiding and abetting the, the deaths and the criminal enterprise that has occurred in this nation. I see my time. Well, I got 15 seconds. Uh, no. no, you don't. Oh, I'm 15 seconds <laughs> you're, over. You're over. <laughs> I'd still, I'd still like to go on, but I think I've made my point. It's going the other way. <laughs> the gentleman I think the no gentleman way. for yielding. I, I, I asked to uh, yield just to respond to uh, something that my, my distinguished colleague from Texas just said, uh, who I know has served uh, served for a long time as a federal prosecutor, as have I, and as has Secretary Mayorkas. I think it's incredibly dangerous to accuse Secretary Mayorkas of aiding and abetting crimes. As you well know, you need to have the intent to do that. And uh, it is clear that whether you disagree or not with Secretary Mayorkas's approach to dealing with the border, that to accuse him of aiding, abetting crime is very serious and is, I think, uh, unwarranted in this situation. Well, the gentleman yield? Yes. Um, look, I live in a border state, you don't. And I've dealt with this issue for 25 years. I've never seen it this bad. It's his dereliction of duty that has created this problem in the United States. Seven million people. How are we going to deal with that? No legal status. Human trafficking. Fentanyl. Look, I, 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 we will disagree on this one, but I have to say that the change of policy has created this problem, and he knows better. He was a U.S. attorney in Los Angeles, like you were. He knows better. Will you yield for one second? I yield back. Actually, Actually, the time has expired, so if someone else wants to yield to these gentlemen, you certainly may do that. But the time has expired, and we'd like to continue on so that everyone gets their opportunity.